Steeler pride is a way of life for football fans in the former industrial city of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. With their yellow so-called terrible towels in hand, fans of the black and gold have helped propel the Steelers to a record six Super Bowl wins. Pittsburgh defensive player Troy Palomalu, whose number 43 jersey had the most replica sales in the National Football League last year, says pride in his team is widespread. The Steeler emblem is worldwide. We've seen the terrible towel in outer, outer space, you know. Um, we get so much support from fans whenever, wherever we travel. Green Bay Packer fans have their roots in the dairy state of Wisconsin. Many fans sport the foam cheese head to show their team pride. The Packers are the only nonprofit, community owned team in professional American sports, something current quarterback Aaron Rodgers credits with their success. There's no owner, so a lot of the fans uh, consider themselves owners and, and personally invested, a lot of them are personally invested in the team. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a college like atmosphere in Green Bay. Everywhere you go, you see green and gold. It's a first name basis. Um, and it's just, uh, there's a special connection that's always been there between the players and the fans. Fans of both teams playing in Super Bowl 45 are braving unusually cold weather and icy road conditions to be in North Texas to experience one of the most watched and most expensive sporting events in America. Though the face value of tickets for this year's Super Bowl ranges from $600 to $1,500, the only way to get them now is on the secondary market. Prices are in the tens of thousands of dollars for the best seats, and event organizers are adding more seats and standing room to meet the demand. But it's not only Packer and Steeler fans buying those tickets. Football is king, has always been king, will always be king in this area of the country. Sports radio host Norm Hitzkus is on the air in Dallas, where the local NFL team, the Cowboys, are the most popular sports franchise in the area. Though the locals are disappointed the Cowboys are not playing, a Super Bowl hosted in their state is a welcome event. In Texas, football's a tradition. People in this state grew up 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago going to football, high school football on Friday nights in Texas. That is the sport here. College football grew, pro football grew. The tradition of this entire state is based on football. Players who will take the field on Super Bowl Sunday admit the energy and excitement generated by tens of thousands of screaming fans can help set the mood and the pace of their performance. For Pittsburgh quarterback Ben Roethlisberger, who was playing in his third Super Bowl with an eye to giving the Steelers a record seven Super Bowl wins, the fans are why he plays the game. Pittsburgh fans are the best uh, fans in all of sport, and uh, I think that's what this is. This game's why it's going to be so awesome is because Packer fans are going to. I know that they travel. I know that they're um, passionate about their Packers, and so um, that's why I think this is the ultimate game and, and the ultimate two teams playing in it. The ultimate game will be played in the ultimate stadium, Arlington, Texas's newly built 1.3 billion dollar Cowboy Stadium. It could set an attendance record. Organizers say with added seats specifically for the Super Bowl, they are expecting a capacity crowd of 105,000 people. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Dallas, Texas.